Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Witch's Valley Homestead. And we're just gonna have a little kind of vlog on what are we doing today? Uh, so far this morning, I'm having my coffee and I am watching vlogs from other homesteaders. Right now, I'm watching The Fit Farmer. Uh, I had to remove one of my previous vlogs. Sorry about the inconvenience. Um, I'm working on trying to get it edited so I can put it back up uh, differently, but there's some issues with it, so I had to private it. But yeah, so today we're gonna have a coffee, we'll make a smoothie, we'll do some housework, I'll check out the garden too because there is a lot that is happening in the garden right now and I'm so happy about it. Greetings friends! And we're off to feed the goats. Typically Lacey is the one that takes care of the goats for the most part. But I figured I would tag along this time to watch her she's doing and we got Morgan's out checking the garden so let's go and take a peek at the garden with them they attach to each other and then you have to like unravel them from each other and like put them up also we still have to go get chicken wire and something something for them Take a look here, we got some purple beans coming up somewhere down there, which is exciting. <clears throat> and they're all trellising really good, too. We just need to give them more room to do so. Poor peas. They're still coming, but yeah, they got pretty beat up from those birds. Finally planted my potatoes. So that's nice. The lemon bomb is doing really good. I love how thick it feels. Or maybe no, I'll show you now. We got Tinkerbell peppers. I think there's like three four on here almost, and then there's like four, five, or six on here, quite a bit, so that's very exciting, we're having good peppers, as well as this guy's starting to get some too, he's got, we got one tried in here, just, just beautiful. really blooming at this point right now. Still gonna bring that in and clean it out. Peppers are doing okay. There's some big ones. That big guy right there. I might not even get to like... I mean some of them might get to be big but Yeah. Is that so you can bring them inside? Sure. Uh, we got one little strawberry growing. And it's starting to shoot off more shoots, so that's good. I did that last year though, and it shot off one shoots. Look, my squash plants are just growing like crazy. Big they're getting. This guy's starting to trellis around here. Carrots are still kind of eh. eh. But we're trying. See this little dangly, I gotta like wrap them around. This guy. Maybe 
get some room around this one. These two back here aren't getting too big yet, but I should. <laughs> Look at how big that leaf is. It's a beautiful big leaf. I have big hands, so that's nice. You gonna stir the compost? Still haven't really gotten any tomatoes. More Spanish. I just love it, you guys. This one's actually coming back. Blueberries, still no blueberries though. These tomato plants haven't really gotten very big. I don't know how yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Here's just me. I'm not seeing it. Look at this thing. a little thing to grow up. yesterday now, or I mean, uh, last summer now, it's three plants. And then there's more What is this? Is... Give me blueberries already, Mr. Plant. I want blueberries. If you look down in here too, there's a freaking long, long, long thing. Like, I'll try to find the top. There's the top. And it goes all the way down. All the way down. I'm so excited you guys, there's so many beans on this plant already. It's beautiful. Sit down. Wake up, be so cute. Hey, wake up, be so cute. Next thing, boy. My pig dog. Around is not disconnected, living in bubbles somewhere, but interacting and having hands-on participation. The job with body. The, the natural world is because uh, it's important. He's done, and I'm just washing her off again. And we just went to superstore to grab some things for the house, and now we're going to where? PV Mart to go and try to find some chicken wire or holly paneling and zip ties so we'll see we'll see what we can find there for the garden Ooh, plants is there pansies do you see pansies No more lights. Fencing. Ooh. For indoor, indoor ones maybe. Uh, so Two hundred and thirty-nine.
<sighs> so maybe yes. Okay. Maybe get two. Because I need a longer one, yeah. Yeah. Or even this one's even a longer one. Yeah, I think so. Because I have to do the two, the, yeah. Uh, zip ties. doctor's office and I was like, oh hi, and I know I did it. <laughs> wire sculpture. You want this for your wire sculpture? Now I'm just cutting the chicken wire. I measured it. Now we 
always got to cut all along here. So I'm sorry if I didn't get any of that. We got this one side kind of up. I'm just tying it on now. Of course, I didn't videotape what I actually these to secure them. I learned this from Jess from Roots and Refuge. R root, blah, blah, blah. Jess from Ro Roots and Refuge Farm. Oh my god, tongue twister. Uh, she did this and she trials in her garden, but she used hog panels instead of chicken wiring. I'm using the chicken wiring because it's my peas, so I'm hoping they won't be as heavy, but with my squashes, I would rather do hog paneling because the squashes dangle and they're heavier and yeah, so now I have to uh, measure out again another little bit, put it on the side, and then we're going to put it on the top. Morgan's just cutting off the tips of the thing so they don't stick out. We're going to try to do the roof. Sorry if this is foggy, I don't know why it's foggy like that. taking a little break right now because my children are frustrating me. You know, there's some days they're real helpful, some days they're not helpful at all. The joy is apparent. Pretty much finished. It's all up there, all down the side. Then we just trellis our beans through, like we did down here. These ones that were long, and they should grow all the way up and dangle all the way down in front of us. Isn't it exciting? Do you love it? Great idea. 